China is light years ahead of the rest of the world when it comes to the creation of batteries using sodium. These batteries are beginning to compete with lithium power cells, which are quite common. Thousands of scientists, engineers, and industrial employees are molding the future of batteries in the city of Changsha, which is located deep inside the core of China. Hello, and welcome to E0, the channel where we cover electric vehicles news, updates, and content. In today's video, we're going to look at Chinese sodium ion batteries, which are the technology of the future for batteries. China can lead the next battery technology breakthrough. Similar to how Stanford University shaped the fortunes of Silicon Valley business people, who were early adopters of microchip technology, the city's Central South University is churning out graduates who are contributing to the advancement of technology. Massive facilities on the other side of the Xiang River combine various minerals with the highly processed chemicals that are necessary for the production of rechargeable batteries. These batteries, which are mostly composed of lithium, have been responsible for the surge in popularity of mobile phones and other types of consumer electronics. They are now revolutionizing the automobile sector and may soon begin doing the same for other industries like solar panels and wind turbines which are essential in the battle against climate change. Now, China is working to position itself to take the lead in the next major advance in rechargeable batteries, which involves replacing lithium with sodium, a chemical that is far more affordable and plentiful. Sodium, which is a component of salt, can be found all over the globe, has a price range of 1 to 3% of that of lithium, and is chemically very similar. As a result of recent advancements, sodium batteries may now be recharged on a daily basis for years, which eliminates one of the primary advantages that lithium batteries have. Sodium batteries come with a significant benefit, which is that they retain virtually all of their charge even when subjected to temperatures far below freezing, which is something that lithium batteries, in general, are not capable of. In Changsha, Graduates from the Central South University are contributing to the development of sodium battery technology at neighboring research centers. Operated by corporations such as Germany's BASF, which is the largest chemical manufacturer in the world. Just a few streets away from the research laboratories, one of the first and largest plants for producing sodium battery chemicals has already begun construction. In interviews, executives from Chinese battery companies said that in the previous year they have found out how to build sodium battery cells that are so identical to lithium ones that they can be manufactured using the same equipment as lithium ones. The Chinese conglomerate CATL, which is the world's biggest maker of electric vehicle batteries, claims to have found a method to employ sodium cells and lithium cells in the same electric car's battery pack. And this would combine the advantages of sodium cells, which include their cheap cost and resilience to the elements, with the advantages of lithium cells, which include their longer range. According to the business, they are now ready to begin mass production of these hybrid battery packs. During an interview at the company's headquarters in Ningde, China, Huang Qisen, the deputy dean of CATL's research institution, said that we are ready to industrialize it. Sodium is beginning to get the attention of multinational businesses. I am confident that we will start seeing sodium replace lithium for certain applications, said Mike Henry, the chief executive officer of BHP, which is the biggest mining firm in the world. In the 1970s, the United States took the lead in initiating serious investigations into the possibility of using sodium in battery technology. Also, a decade ago, experts in Japan achieved significant advancements in their field. Since then, firms based in China have been at the forefront of efforts to commercialize the technology. According to Benchmark Minerals, a consulting group, out of the 20 sodium battery plants that are now being planned or are already under construction throughout the globe, 16 of them are in China. Therefore, within the next two years, China will have the ability to produce sodium batteries equal to roughly 95% of the global total. According to predictions made by Benchmark, the manufacturing of lithium batteries will still much exceed that of sodium batteries at that time. Nevertheless, advancements in sodium are picking up speed. At the auto show in Shanghai, car manufacturers and battery suppliers are anticipated to reveal plans to incorporate sodium batteries into at least some limited-range subcompact vehicles destined for the Chinese market. In addition, the usage of sodium batteries in electric grids is currently the most immediately promising use for sodium batteries. However, to store the same amount of electric charge, sodium batteries need to be much larger than lithium ones. This is a challenge for automobiles because of their limited storage capabilities, but it is not an issue for the storage of electrical grids. If a utility company decides to transition from lithium to sodium, they only need to place twice as many large batteries in an empty lot 
that is close to solar panels or wind turbines. As utilities throughout the globe transition to more environmentally friendly sources of energy, such as solar and wind, they have a growing desire for large volumes of battery storage. They need to have the ability to store energy when the sun is shining and the wind is blowing, so that they may utilize it later as an alternative to electricity that is fueled by coal or gas. Already, the price of electricity in one of China's largest provinces, Shandong, may be up to 20 times higher in the early evening, when demand is at its peak, than it is in the middle of the day, when the system is saturated with more solar power than enterprises and houses need. However, certain utilities, such as the Three Gorges Corporation in the center west of China, have begun testing sodium batteries. According to Frank Hauwitz, a consultant who specializes in China's solar business, several of China's provinces have started mandating that newly constructed solar or wind power farms must contain sufficient batteries to soar between 10 and 20 percent of the energy that they produce. In towns like Fuzhou, CATL has put lithium batteries the size of minivans at charging stations for electric cars. The batteries will charge themselves anytime there is a low demand for power, such as during the night or when the sun is shining on the solar panels located atop the charging station, and they will be ready for use whenever a driver pulls up to the station to get their charge. Also, CATL is looking at whether or not sodium can be employed in these kinds of settings. The most recent sodium batteries, in contrast to lithium batteries, do not need rare elements such as cobalt, which is a mineral that is mostly mined in Africa under circumstances that have upset human rights organizations. But despite its rapid advancement toward the top position in sodium, China must still overcome obstacles. To begin with, there is the question of where the sodium may be obtained. Even though salt is plentiful, the United States has more than 90% of the world's deposits that can be easily mined for soda ash. For those who don't know, soda ash is the primary industrial source of sodium. A large deposit of soda ash that was created 50 million years ago is buried deep under the desert in the southwestern part of Wyoming. However, instead of relying on its meager natural stocks of soda ash or on imports from the United States, China creates synthetic soda ash in chemical facilities that are powered by coal. And this is because natural soda ash deposits are very limited. But the manufacturing of synthetic soda ash in China has a track record of polluting harmful levels of water. This includes the fall of a mound of alkali slag that occurred in East Central China in 2016, which swept away automobiles and polluted a major river. Another concern that has to be answered about sodium is whether or not lithium will continue to be expensive. Prices for lithium increased by a factor of four between 2017 and November of last year, but have subsequently decreased by almost two-thirds. Concerns have also been raised about the longevity of sodium-based batteries. According to David Fishman, a power sector expert at Lantau Group, a consulting business, power firms are interested in seeing how sodium batteries operate not just in laboratories, but also outdoors after being exposed to the elements for a number of years. However, Mr. Fishman and others are now paying special attention to the development of sodium batteries. In addition, the need for batteries is rapidly increasing, and it's doubtful that lithium will continue to be the predominant material forever. According to Mr. Henry of BHP, yes, sodium does play a role, but time will show. Share your thoughts below on the comment section on whether or not you agree with China's assessment that sodium ion batteries represent the future of battery technology. And that wraps things up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time.